Hello once again, hey, it's Dan in the workshop. Continue to work on the Sky Ranger 40. Before I get any further along, I thought I'd show you how to make the tail wheel connection. People won't tell you exactly what to do, so I'm making it up as I go along. But a good portion of this, I've um, adopted Terry Dunn's uh, method of attaching it. What I'm doing is attaching this push rod it attaches to the tail wheel axle with a with a rod that you connect up and this is the what you need to do this you need three thirty second brass plated collars part number 138 from Dubro and this is the key thing you need part number 878 a heavy duty control arm and clevis you get two of them, you only need one. This is it right here. This arm is, is what you, the key part. This arm, you need to cut it off, shorten it so that this, this will fit in here. And this thread in here, you also need a bolt, a, foot, a number 440 bolt, or boulder screw, whatever you can get, cap screw. This happens to be a screw. And it threads through this arm right here threads through here and it goes into this collar that you put on the axle you put that on there okay now let's see if um, you know, I forgot to hook this up a little tester fumble around here Get some juice going to it. There we go. Now, <clears throat> you can see how that's going to work. Hope you can. Hope it's in focus. By the way, this is a one inch Dubro tail wheel. So that's going to work nicely, but you're going to have to make one of these. This is an extra little bracket. You can see that it's only support turns down here. It's only supported at one end. So you have to make another one of these out of hardwood, or there's a strip left over from the build, or a piece of hardwood, and you this kink in this tail wheel axle you can't make it very sharp to get this on this has to go down here and it's going to have to be glued up in there just like that so that in the end this rod will be supported at both the top and the bottom the tail wheel and then of course the tail wheel has to go this has to be straightened at 90 degrees to go in the hole that you drill in the tail feathers it has to be put together it's a pretty daunting task if you got a good helper it would be uh, most advantageous so this is what it will look like when it's together I'll plug in the um, plug in the other one I should have had this done before I started a video but whatever okay so <clears throat> why isn't that working well because I got it in there wrong okay if you plug them up right they work and you can see how the elevator is going to work It just, just barely fits. Goes in, we'll go out. I hope this comes out with a camera so you can see this. But anyway, as the Brits would say, it's kind of fiddly getting this all put together. <clears throat> so take your time. 
I hope this helps. I mean, I've been fussing about how to do this probably for two days, trying to get it just right. <clears throat> so this applies not only to this build, it would apply to any build that you may have. You know, you're turning, the control arm <clears throat> is turning the axle, which turns both the wheel and the rudder, is what it amounts to. <clears throat> so anyway, these are the parts you need. This is the bolt you need. I hope this helps and uh, saves you a bunch of aggravation. Out here.